Welcome back to Crypto Lion. As you know, this is the best channel to keep you up to date with news in the cryptocurrency world, as well as excellent predictions. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss vital information. Also, don't forget to like the video. Today, we'll be discussing the next projections for Bitcoin, considering recent news and price. Also, watch out for the massive warnings that I'll be dropping as we reveal the end price of Bitcoin. This new year started with good news for most crypto traders, as Bitcoin started on a bullish run, which seems to be unending. However, this new week was the beginning of the end of the run, with Bitcoin falling from 30,000 from what seemed to be a comfortable 40,000 position. Just as expected, the altcoins were also quick to follow in the same direction, with Ethereum falling as much as 15%. So what's the next thing for Bitcoin? Well, before we talk about that, I want to sound a note of warning very quickly. First of all, Bitcoin is still as volatile as ever. And there's a lot of misleading news out there from people who claim to be experts. Of course, there may not be an exactly accurate way to validate their claims, but risking it all just to find out if they're right or wrong might have devastating consequences. I've read about people buying Bitcoin with their credit cards or taking loans. The big warning here is that you can lose a lot of money and even end up with big debt. That's not uncommon, as the crypto space generally has seen a lot of new faces recently. And many of these people don't even know how it works out here. They just want to invest. Once again, we have a lot of videos that will educate you and keep you informed of recent news and developments. There are a lot of expectations for this new year about Bitcoin, so let's take a look at some of the cases that are most likely going to affect the Bitcoin price. The first thing is the increasing acceptance. With more companies accepting Bitcoin as a method of payment, PayPal, for instance, now accepts Bitcoin, and this is a very nice development. I'm sure you'd agree. Also, like I said earlier, there are even more individuals looking to invest at this period especially when the price crosses a new record. So let me officially use this opportunity to welcome our new Bitcoiners to the world of Bitcoin. And if you're watching this now, know that you're in good hands. So the end of 2020 saw a lot more people talking about Bitcoin. Notable among them is the Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who published a tweet inquiring about converting Tesla's balance sheet into Bitcoin and got everybody talking about it. This is a positive direction for Bitcoin because the attention is good for the system. However, in the same way, Bitcoin has caught the attention of many governments, and there are motions for regulations. Bitcoin has always been a challenger of the finance system, and regulators have had their eyes on it since it started gaining popularity. But due to its decentralized architecture and anonymous founding, it's been hard for regulators to lay their hands on anything concrete. A similar situation is the recent development with XRP being sued by the SEC. There are also speculations about the incoming U.S. government regarding Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Some believe that the Biden administration will favor the crypto space, while others believe it will issue strict regulations which will affect the growth of Bitcoin. Either way, we're about to find out. So, like I said, it's obviously going to be an eventful year for Bitcoin. We're also expecting some worthy competition from the new digital coins this year, as some central banks and tech giants are now working on their own digital coin. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this channel. So let's talk about the volatility of Bitcoin. Bitcoin remains very volatile as it's not directly linked to any real-world system like finance and policies. Therefore, it can increase in value or decrease in value in very surprising manners. Some predictions have been made that by the end of 2021, Bitcoin will assume a six-figure value. One of such predictions is Citibank's analyst, Tom Fitzpatrick, who predicted that by the end of 2021, Bitcoin will trade at $318,000. He compared Bitcoin to gold and that the only difference is that Bitcoin enjoys fewer restrictions in gold, which makes its potential limitless. This kind of six-figure prediction is becoming common as the Winklevoss twins have also made similar predictions for the new decade. They stated that Bitcoin will attain a value above gold in the long term, and we're looking at something around $500,000. In the same way, we also have people who think Bitcoin is nothing and strongly advise people against it. Some of them have made their predictions as well, and we're going to take a look at it. Anton Wallman, a columnist, is of the opinion that Bitcoin is worthless and will soon go back to zero. He said that it's quite obvious that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are a case, even though he finds it hard to explain, but he strongly believes they're absurd. This reminds me of the time Bitcoin's worth was still in cents, and sometimes, in 2010, a developer bought pizza with 10,000 Bitcoins. They weren't worth much then, but today, that's hundreds of millions in worth. Now imagine going back to such a period. Anton is not the only person with this kind of thought. Oliver Cam, a financial contributor for The Times UK, also said that cryptocurrencies should be avoided, despite the fact that PayPal now accepts Bitcoin. Cam advised that people should rid their portfolios of cryptocurrencies, as according to him, they can't be valued because they're assets who do not pay cash flows, like bonds, which pay interest or shares. 
He compared cryptocurrencies to gambling and warned that one should be prepared to lose his entire stake. Mike Novogratz, who predicted that Bitcoin will sell for 10000 in 2018, and his prediction was correct, also predicted that Bitcoin could reach $65,000 in 2021. He tweeted that he bought more Bitcoin at $15,800 and that Bitcoin is going to $20,000 and from there to $65,000. How many of you watched Game of Thrones? Well, if you did, then you should know Arya Stark. Maisie Williams played Arya Stark in the series, and Mike made this prediction when he was advising Maisie to buy Bitcoin, and he told her specifically to go ahead and buy. This happened in November 2020. The volatility of Bitcoin is of concern. Consider the recent bull run and the speed at which it moves. The run from 17,000 to 42,000 was completed in less than a month, and now the price is beginning to fall. Should you panic? No, that would be a bad thing to do. Experts say that this pullback is healthy for Bitcoin price and that the market is going to consolidate. Let's look at the chart. This chart shows the Bitcoin movement at the beginning of the month. You can notice the high volatility and rapid bullish movement. Then there's the start of the bearish trend and there are three support lines. The first support line is the upper blue line at the 40,000 mark. Notice how Bitcoin tested the support line before embarking on a downward trend. The second support line at the green horizontal line is at 35,000. The price is expected to test the support line and bounce off, otherwise there's a lower support line at slightly above 30,000. And Bitcoin is not expected to exceed the support line on its bearish line. So basically, the next thing that is expected is that Bitcoin will continue on its bullish run after testing the support line. As noted earlier, experts have analyzed that it's healthy for the price to fall slightly in order to regain momentum for the bulls. So I've been sharing some warnings about Bitcoin with you and I've shown you different projections for Bitcoin in 2021 and beyond. Also, we've talked about a few factors that may affect these projections. I also want to add this warning because I really don't want you to lose your money on this cryptocurrency space. The warning is about Bitcoin scams. In 2020, we experienced a wild hijack of the Twitter accounts of notable figures like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Michael Bloomberg, and others. The accounts were then used to scam people of their hard-earned Bitcoins. Accounts of exchanges like Binance and Coindesk were also compromised by the hackers. You gotta be very careful and be wary of offers that are too good to be true if you don't want to lose your bitcoins to scammers and internet thieves. So be wary of these people and their tactics. New bitcoiners should look up ways to protect themselves on the internet. I'll drop a few points just very quickly. One of them is do not use public Wi-Fi to access your financial accounts. Same thing with your bitcoin wallets and other cryptocurrency wallets. If it's absolutely necessary that you do, you can protect yourself with a VPN. Also, of course, be careful, don't click on any suspicious links. Alright, so according to the charts and from all we've considered, it's a wise thing to look into investing in Bitcoin for the long term. The prices change frequently and we're likely to see bearish moments as much as bullish moments. But in the long term, we hope to see some amazing bullish runs in general, with Bitcoin chasing after these projections. Don't forget about the warnings too, I'm sure they'll help you make good decisions. We hope this video satisfies your curiosity and answers your questions. If you enjoyed it, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can get notified as soon as we have a new post. The earlier you get information, the better, so you can make wise decisions. You can also engage with me and others in the comment section below. Good luck and see you next time.